Architect here, and uh, yeah, this is my my first video uh, that I'm posting on YouTube. So uh, I guess we're kind of going to do this thing together, right? Um, make sure you like and subscribe to my page. If you like what I'm saying, make sure you subscribe. And you know, if you don't like what I'm saying, you can go ahead and subscribe, and then later you'll remember to come back and tell me how much you don't like what I'm saying. I don't really care why you subscribe. I'm just saying subscribe. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hop right into it. Um, for my first post video, whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, I am going to do a comparison of um, a Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 with DeX versus uh, like a Pixel Slate. Um, it's something that I've seen a lot of people ask about online and quite honestly, something that I wondered myself for a while because up until, uh, I bought the Galaxy Tab S6, I had never owned a Samsung device, um, or a Samsung tablet, I'm sorry, that was DeX capable. So I always kind of wondered, was there any benefit to one over the other and vice versa? Um, and I quickly found out the, the, the answer to that, which was actually much easier to come across than you might um, believe. So, uh, with no further ado, let's get into the similarities, right? Um, both can run Android applications, right? Now, Chrome OS has the ability to run Android apps natively from within Chrome OS. You just install the Play Store and you're good to go from there. Um, both devices, uh, the Pixel Slate, and the only other two I can think of off the top of my head are the HP Slate X2 and the Chrome Tab, the Acer Chrome Tab. I think those are the only three devices that allow you to use Chrome OS as a completely detachable tablet. Um, there are some others that will allow you, that are two-in-ones that allow you to flip it around, but I'm just specifically talking about the ability to use it as a, uh, as a standalone tablet. Um, but, so, yes, they have that in common, right? Both the Tab S6 and the Pixel Slate allow you to use the device separate from the keyboard. Um, other than that, that's kind of where the similarities end. And I'm going to explain, explain to you why. Um, on the, uh, we'll start with the Galaxy Tab S6, right? Um, one of the major differences is going to be screen real estate, right? The Tab S6 is a 10.5 inch display. Pixel Slate is a 12.3 inch display. And I believe so is the HP Slate X2. Right, I think both of those are 12.3 inch displays. If I'm wrong, just let me know down in the comments. Um, but I, I believe they're both 12.3 inch displays. That is a noticeable difference when you're talking about a tablet. As a result of that, however, the Galaxy Tab S6 is much lighter. You're talking about less than a pound versus the other two devices being like a pound and a half without the keyboard. Um, so you have that trade-off, right? Bigger screen weighs more, which obviously that only makes sense, right? If you have a bigger screen, it's going to weigh more. Um, DeX in itself, I like it. I like it a lot, right? So I like the interface of DeX much more than I like the interface of Chrome OS. And the reason being is because I think it's a bit more intuitive if you've ever owned a laptop, which, you know, hopefully if you're watching this video, you have. Um, DeX is a little bit more intuitive in that manner. Um, it still allows you to open uh, Android apps in Windows. It still allows you, obviously, to run uh, all of your Android apps. Uh, it has the ability for multitasking. So... Right at the bottom in the taskbar view, you get to see all of the applications you have open. You can 
right click on them and close them or minimize them and then pull them back up, etc. You have a, 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 your notification area and you click on that, pops up your notifications. You also have another area, you click on the time, the calendar automatically pops up. Um, the interface is nicer, looks better. Uh, the pin pixel density is better, probably due to it being on a smaller device. Um, so I, I do like the interface of the Tab S6 with DeX much better. Also, the Tab S6 offers uh, Samsung's first tablet that they put out that also has a trackpad built into the keyboard, um, which is huge, right? Like if you're going to use a device as a laptop replacement, that's something that you're probably going to want, right? You're probably going to want the ability to, you know, not have to carry a mouse around with you in addition to your tablet. Um, that being said, as a standalone laptop replacement, it's okay. You can make do. Um, if you were going out of town for the weekend, you didn't anticipate having to do anything, but you wanted to take something with you just in case, right? You're already taking your tablet with you. You don't want to have to worry about taking like your tablet and your laptop just in case, right? If you want the most sleek and um, lightweight option available, then the, um, oh, I'm sorry, then the Tab S6 is going to be what you're going to want to use, right? Uh, it will allow you to accomplish exactly what you're wanting to do, especially having the pen. The pen makes a big difference. Um, Chrome OS, on the other hand, the Tab S6 part functions first as a tablet and second as a laptop replacement, meaning at heart, it's still an Android tablet, right? You don't get the power that you would get from a Chrome OS-based device. Um, you know, the Pixel Slate has a, you can get an i7 with 16 gig of RAM in a Pixel Slate. Like, you're not going to get that kind of power in any Android device, right? Um, as a result, Chrome OS works much better for productivity. You can do more things, have more stuff open, have more tabs open, switching between applications. If you need to, if you're using your Chrome OS tablet to compile code or something like that, it's going to do it a lot faster than the Galaxy Tab S6 will. Um, if you're using it to do what I'm doing, right? Like you, you want to make a, a video post, you want to post something on YouTube or edit, do some video editing or some photo editing. It's going to be much better at doing those tasks. It functions second as a tablet, meaning imagine the surface, right? It is primarily a computer that allows you some tablet-like functionality. Chrome OS is the same way. It's not built to be a tablet device. They have put in some tablet-like features, right? When you separate the, the Chrome, the Pixel Slate from the keyboard, it automatically puts it into tablet mode. Makes it much more of a user-friendly interface if you're gonna be using it as a tablet. Um, one of the things that it also has going for it uh, anytime you open a website in Google Chrome, it always, always, always opens in desktop mode. I cannot remember a time of opening a Chrome tab and it coming up and saying, oh, we don't support, you need to open it up in the full browser or, you know, don't use the mobile browser or something like that. On the Galaxy Tab S6, it's hit or miss. Uh, some websites don't do that. Other websites do it. I find it less of an issue on the Tab S6 if I'm using Samsung's built-in internet browser, but even then it's still way more of an issue than it is using the Pixel Slate or something of the like. Um, while I have this pen in my hand, it if you compare those two, Samsung has built its Galaxy Note-esque line of devices, and I, I grouped the Galaxy Tab S6 in that because uh, I feel like the 
Galaxy Tab S3 was a successor to the Note 10.1 2014. That's a mouthful. Um, and then the Tab S4 was obviously the successor to that, and the Tab S6 the successor to that, right? Samsung has built an entire ecosystem around using the pen. So it gives you a ton of functionality. Everything from off-screen notes. You don't even have to turn the screen on. You press the button, tap on the screen, even on a Tab S6. With the screen off, press the button, hold down the button, tap on the screen once. You can write notes without ever having to turn the screen on. Right? As soon as you dock your pen again, turns the screen off, saves the note automatically. Okay? But Chrome OS doesn't offer anything like that, right? If you buy the Chromebook Plus, or the Chromebook Pro, uh, which I own the Chromebook Plus, um, you do have some of that S Pen functionality because it does come with an S Pen, but nothing like you get with an Android tablet with an S Pen by Samsung, right? Uh, that said, that does not mean that the pen that you get for the Pixel Slate is bad because it's not by any means. It's it's great if you wanted to do use it for drawing or or writing notes which is mostly what i use it for writing notes then it's it's great and it, it works well um you have to chart or you have to buy a battery for that pen right you don't have to do that with the tab s6 obviously because it just uses an s pen which doesn't need a, a battery in it the only battery that it uses is for the bluetooth uh features like taking pictures and stuff like that. Um, but even if the bad Bluetooth battery ran out, you could still use the pen with the Tab S6 either way. Um, the Chromebook will offer you far more functionality if you're wanting to use it as a productivity device. So take that same scenario. You're going out of town. You know you're going to have to do some light work. Maybe you're going to have to edit some documents. You're going to have to... Um, Maybe do a little bit of photo editing. Maybe you want to edit a video in order for you to post up, you know, on your YouTube channel that you might have. Then a Chromebook is going to be a much better device to do that with than the Tab S6 would be. Uh, the Tab S6 does have some nice built-in features, but it just doesn't give you the same power that the Pixel Slate would give you or most other Chromebooks give you because most Chromebooks are built on uh, Intel-based hardware, meaning the same type of hardware that you would get if you bought an actual laptop. That being said, that is also the reason why it is a tablet second because the apps from the Play Store are not built to natively run on that kind of hardware. They can but they're not built to run on that hardware. So you'll find issues where some apps may work, other apps may work in this area over here, but let's say you go to click on this over here, it'll force the app to crash every single time, every time you click on it. Some apps won't open at all. They'll download, but they won't open. And still other apps will say your device is not compatible with this application. Some of your more graphic intensive apps, like games or uh, if you're wanting to use some of like the video editing apps that were built specifically for Android, may not work as well as if you use it on the Galaxy Tab S6. Uh, so that's kind of where things lie with that. The Galaxy Tab S6 is the best Android tablet that you can buy, flat out, not even going to sugarcoat it. In my opinion, it is the best Android tablet that you can buy. Uh, 6 gig of RAM, 8 gig if you get the 256 gig version, which I don't have. Um, you know, 128 gigabytes of storage, Snapdragon 855 processor. Like, it's a, it's a beast, but it is still primarily an Android tablet. Um, it's going to take better pictures than pretty much any Chrome device that you want to use, but I doubt either of you are or any of you, I doubt any of you are buying uh, tablets or Chrome OS devices for picture taking. I hope not. Please don't. Stop it if you are. Um, 
But yeah, it is a tablet first and a productivity device second. Chrome OS, productivity device first, tablet second. So depending on what your needs are, that is going to determine exactly which device you want to get. I will throw this little last bit of information in here. Uh, you can get Chrome OS devices, even two-in-ones that flip around and become tablets, right? All the screen flips all the way around. Like the Chromebook Plus, you can get that used for like 200 250 on eBay all day. Galaxy Tab S6, going to start you at $600, even on eBay. You're going to pay $600 bucks for it, right? $650 if you want to buy it brand new. But all you get is the tablet and the pen. Then you have to spend another $180 if you want the keyboard. You buy the Chromebook Plus. It's a tablet with the keyboard built in, has the S Pen, folds around to become uh, a tablet. It offers you a lot of the same functionality. Is it as light as the Tab S6? No. So you have to deal with that. But if you're not looking for something to be super duper light like a tablet then quite honestly i probably wouldn't even get the pixel slate unless you want it for that high-end pro productivity that an i5 or an i7 processor is going to offer you because even the chromebook plus runs an intel processor with four gigabytes of ram and 32 gigabytes of storage has two usb-c ports plus a regular usb 3.0 port and has the S Pen with it, and has a micro SD card slot for you to expand your storage even further. So ultimately, it's going to come down to, like I said, what you want. If price is the biggest factor, you're going to want a Chromebook. If hardcore productivity and the uh, slimmest, lightest fashion possible is your is what you want, then the Pixel Slate is going to be what you want to get. But if you're looking for something that's a tablet, that's going to allow you to, you want to check email, you want to edit a couple Word documents, you want to, if you're not going to be doing anything too major, the Tab S6 is the way to go. Uh, the audio on the Tab S6, bar none, right? Even better than the iPad Pro. Go check out other people's reviews and you'll see what I'm talking about. Tab S6 audio is, is amazing. It's unbelievable how good it sounds. Um, but yeah, so there you have it. A little bit of a comparison. Like I said, I, it, it seemed like something that people were asking about. So I figured I'd do a quick little post, a quick little video about it. Um, let me know in the comments if you want me to do more comparisons of stuff just like this. Again, this is Architect and I am signing off.